Hello, welcome back to our classroom. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about how to factorize the difference of two squares. First, we need to talk about square numbers. The list of square numbers starts at 1, then 4, 9, 16, 25, and the list goes on. And as you can imagine, they are, they are obtained by squaring individual integers. 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, etc. 1 square means 1 times 1, 2 square means 2 times 2, 3 square, 3 times 3, and that is how we get these numbers, 9, 16, 25, 36, etc. So these are what we mean by square numbers. If you should find the square root of a square number, then you get the number that you squared. So the square root of 49 gives you 7, and 7 square gives you 49. Square terms are generally terms that have the power 2. We call that square. So x square is a square term, and a square b square is also a square term because both terms have the power 2. But in general, a square term can just be a term that has an even power. So y to the fourth is a square term. Now let's talk about some tiny other stuff that are needed before we simplify, before we um, factorize with the, the difference of two squares. First, I want us to multiply this expression out. In multiplying this expression out, we're going to use the first term in this bracket to multiply the second bracket. And then we use the two to also multiply the second bracket. Then we collect our terms and we simplify. So 3x will multiply 3x minus 2. And that positive 2 will multiply 3x minus 2. So 3x times 3x gives us a 9x squared. 3x times minus 2 gives us a minus 6x. 2 times a 3x gives us a 6x, and 2 times minus 2 gives us minus 4. These two terms in the middle give us 0. 6x take away 6x, so we're left with 9x squared minus 4. This becomes our answer. In asking the question in reverse, if we wanted to factorize 9x squared minus 4, then we have to reverse the process that we used to get this answer. So here we started with our question. Simplify. And our answer was 9x squared minus 4. Now we're starting with our 9x squared minus 4, and we're saying factorize. And what we want to do is to reverse this process to end up with this as our answer. Interestingly enough, we do not have to go through the whole of the middle process. There's actually an easier way to go through it. Now, if you look at your 9 and you look at your 3, you'll realize that they have something in common, as in relationship. If you look at your 4 and you look at the 2 and the other 2, you realize that they have something in common in terms of relationship. 3 is the square root of 9. And also 2 is the square root of 4. So an interesting technique in factorizing the difference of two squares is just to look at the square terms and to say, what is the square root of each? So this is our technique that we're going to use. It's pretty simple. It looks a bit intimidating here, but in practice, it works out very, very easily. So to, sim to, to factorize the difference of this expression here, a squared minus b squared, what we do is that we find the square root of a, whatever, a squared, and we write it down. We find the square root of b squared, and we write it down. We find the square root of that a squared, and we write it down, and we find the square root of that, and we write it down. And one bracket, we put a plus, and in the other one, we put a minus. So, 
Let's begin by looking at actual examples as to how it works out. In this question, we are told to factorize completely 4a squared minus 1. So, our first step is to open a bracket. We open two sets of brackets. We ask ourselves, what is the square root of 4? Well, the square root of 4 is 2. What is the square root of a square? The square root of a square is a. And what is the square root of 1? The square root of 1 is 1. 1 square gives us 1. So the square root of 1 square is 1. So writing this here as 1 and 1. And we make one bracket plus, and we make one bracket minus, and we are finished. Quite easily done. What did we do? We found the square root of 4. We wrote it in. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of a square is a. We write it in. And the square root of 1 is 1. And we write those in. Let's try it again on this question. 9 minus 25 m squared. We open two brackets. What is the square root of 9? The square root of 9, we know that to be 3. Make a bracket plus, make the other minus. And this bracket could be minus and this one could be plus. It doesn't really matter. One just needs to be plus and one needs to be minus. Now, what is the square root of 25m squared? Well, we know the square root of 25. It is 5. And the square root of m squared is m. So we put in our m, and that is our answer. So 3 plus 5m and 3 minus 5m gives us 9 minus 25m squared. You could multiply this out to check it if you want. Here, 9a squared minus b squared, we open two brackets. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of a squared is a. So we have a 3a. Make one bracket minus, make one plus. Now the square root of b squared is simply b. We write that in and we are finished. In this question, 4g squared minus f squared, we open two brackets. So the first thing you do is that you open two brackets. Now you find the square root of 4g squared. That gives you 2g. Then make one bracket minus, make one plus. Now the square root of f squared is f. So we get for our answer 2g minus f, 2g plus f. Now I said that you could multiply it out to check if your answer is correct. So let us multiply, the, multiply this one out just for proof. So let's take our 3 and multiply our 3 minus 5m and take our 5m and multiply our 3 minus 5m. 3 times 3 here is 9. 3 times minus 5m gives us a minus 15m. 5m times 3 gives us a plus 15m. And 5m times minus 5m gives us a minus 25m squared. Here in the middle, you will notice that this negative 15 and that positive 15 will give you 0. So what we're left with is 9 take away 25 m squared. So you see that the answer is actually correct because we got back what we started with. Let's look at some more examples that are a little bit more interesting and offer some more challenge. Factorize completely 4x squared minus 16. Now, at first, this doesn't look like, well, let's just work it out first. The initial thing to do would be to say, all right, 2, let's open our brackets. The square root of 4x squared is 2x, so we write over 2x. And the square root of 16 is 4. So we write over 4. And we could say, okay, we're finished. But 
we have not completely factorized. Yes, we have factorized, but we are not completely factorized. Reason is, we could factor a 2 from this bracket. And if we factor a 2 from this bracket, we would end up with x minus 2. Also, if we factorize a 2 from this bracket, we would end up with x. 1 should be plus. We would end up with x minus 2. So 1 should be plus. I just corrected that. So we'd end up with 2 times x plus 2 and 2 times x minus 2. This 2 times that 2 could give us 4. And we end up with 4 bracket x plus 2 x minus 2. This question could be done another way. 4x squared minus 16. We are factorizing. First, we factor out, factor out the 4. So we end up with 4 bracket x squared minus 4. And this part here is still the difference of two squares. So we have our 4. We open two brackets. Now the square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 4, make 1 plus and make 1 minus, is positive 2 and negative 2. And this is our answer. So be careful when you work with a question like this that says factorize completely. And in your answer, you have something in the bracket that could be factored out. If you do have something in the bracket that should be factored out, then factor it out so that you can get all the marks that are required to factorize completely. Notice here, this is factorized, but it's a partial factorization. This is the complete answer. And for this one, you would get full marks. So here, it's partially done. Because we can factor a 2 from this bracket and factor a 2 from that bracket. So this is your final answer and not this. Here, this does not look like the difference of two squares. But if we factor out our 3, then 3 into 3 is 1, and 3 into 12 is 4. So we end up with, in the bracket, something that is the difference of two squares. Now we can open two brackets and factorize this expression. Now we have 1. The square root of 1 is 1. Make one bracket plus, make one bracket minus. And the square root of 4b squared is 2b. This now is your complete answer. Here you have factorized but it's not complete. This is the complete factorization. Let's look at some even more challenging examples. This question says factorize completely one minus the bracket of a plus b square. Now the technique says we open two brackets. Now the square root of one is one. Let's write that down. Make a bracket plus, Make one bracket minus. Now the square root of a plus b square is a plus b. So we write over a plus b. Then we need to remove these brackets from inside. Now 1 plus a plus b is simply 1 plus a plus b. And 1 minus a plus b is 1 minus a minus b. Notice that you are subtracting the entire bracket, so it becomes 1 minus a and minus b. This is your final answer. In this example, which is similar to this one, we open two brackets. So the square root of 2x plus y squared is 2x plus y. Make 1 plus, make 1 minus, the square root of 9 is 3, and we write that in, and our answer is complete. Notice that here, I took an extra step with this one, by using two sets of brackets. Because here, this minus sign will change the sign of these, and will make them both negative, while the plus will just let them remain as they are. So, with a minus sign, you need to be careful with it to ensure that you end up with your terms having this, the correct signs. This is what CXE is likely to ask you. So, 
factorizing these, and these are most common on the paper, questions of this type. These also pop up as well, not as often, but they do, where you have to use two different techniques. Sometimes you may even see a question such as factorize completely p cube take away p. In which case you would factor out your p first to get p square minus 1. And having seen that, then this bracket becomes the difference of two, difference of two squares, which would give you p into p plus 1 and p minus 1. Now let's look at some questions that can come on other exams, not CXC, not at CSEC level, but the technique applies just the same. Notice there are a difference. This is a difference. This is a difference. But these two numbers are not square numbers. This is just an A, that is a 3. Neither of these are square numbers. However, over here in this question, these two are square terms. But the technique applies just the same. You open a bracket and you say, what is the square root of A? Well, the square root of A is the square root of A plus the square root of 3 and the square root of A minus the square root of 3. In factorizing the difference of two squares, you need to make sure that in the actual question, there is actually a minus sign. If it's a plus sign, you cannot apply the technique. The question must say a square minus b square. If you have a plus between them, it cannot work. It must be the difference of two squares and not the sum of two squares. So pay attention to that while you work your questions out. The difference of squares, not the, diff not the sum of squares. Now in this question, our final, final question, if you are going to be factoring this, then we open our brackets. So let's open our brackets. And we have the square root of a to the 4 would be a square. And a square and the square root of 16 would be plus 4 and minus 4. Interestingly, once you complete the section, you realize that this part is also the difference of two squares. So a square plus 4. We open two more brackets, and what we end up with is the square root of a square is a, the square root of 4 is 2, we make one bracket plus, and we make one minus, and that becomes your answer. These questions are not typically found on your CSEC level paper, but they do appear on exams above CSEC level. This is how we factorize using the difference of two squares, or factorize the difference of two squares. We write down the square root of our first term, and we write down the square root of our second term. Two different brackets, make one plus, make one minus.